Katrin's here from? Yeah, just arrived. <laughs> uh, well, from Germany, from the long Germany. way, but uh, <laughs> from the Sunshine Coast today, so not that far. Yes. We tidy the strap up, yeah. some Velcro on, tidy this other strap up. The level secure this forward. Yeah, and the downward secure is like with this really major one, the one that really holds it together and doesn't want to rip off with the first corrugation. Okay, well let's do this side, then this will be secure and then we can decide on the other side yeah. when that's done. So it's like a good So it goes on this way. There we go. go. So Kat, you've been here in Australia three months. Tell us, what's the nicest place you've been to so far? Well, um, it's, I think the country is so diverse, there's not one place you, I could point out, it's but um, I did like the forests of the southwestern shores. So the southwestern coast, I did really like that. But I as well really loved the, the center, like the outback, the desert. The desert, yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful as well. Um, and you've got the rainforests in the in the north uh, eastern part, which well I found them beautiful, but um, they were quite hard on me because of the humidity. All right. So um, yeah. I think I prefer the little bit drier places, not so humid places. What yeah. about the wildlife? Um, you know, have you seen most of the animals, the kangaroos and? I'm still missing the koalas. <laughs> <laughs> I've been fine so far. I've uh, been like seeing kangaroos and emus and some thorny devils and. Some, oh yeah, frill yeah. lizard. Have you seen that? Um, yes, but not alive, unfortunately. Oh. It was. Oh, okay. It was not alive, <laughs> and it was stinking. <laughs> not not so frilly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, some of the, like supposed yeah. to be dangerous spiders which are actually not that dangerous but um yeah quite yeah. a bit of wildlife around there and how have you found things like the food has it been a, a big adjustment or has it been you know just similar to what you have at home or no it's know? just normal food. okay like for from me being from europe or from germany i would say it's more or less normal food i'm used to um okay. I love that there is so much bacon and eggs around here because I love <laughs> bacon and eggs. And so bacon and eggs sandwich and stuff like yeah. that is just like, I love it and uh, I'm eating lots of it. But uh, other than that, I love that there is so much seafood around in the, in the coast areas. Um, no, yeah. just normal food. Okay, and how have you found the way that other people on the road treat you? Like other drivers, do they treat you well or is it... As a um, motorbike rider, are you? Do you well, feel so far on the long distances, I've been absolutely fine. So people have been very kind and um, what considerate. Um, there are some, um, like if you go to the bigger cities and stuff, you will find you will always find people that should not be driving a car. Um, yeah, coming around these is kind of tricky sometimes, yeah. but I just try to get out of the way. Yeah. Um, no, but other than that, even the road trains didn't shock me so far. Um, I'm aware of them and I'm like really careful around them. But um, no, they didn't have that much of a negative impact on my traveling so far. And have you found a big difference between the attitude towards you from people, say, in the outback or, you know, like the, the, the less populated places compared to the cities, you know, just the way a stranger will greet you or anything like that? Well, the more you go, to, you get to the outback, the the more welcoming I think people will yeah. be because they're just it's just not usual for them to have so many people out there. So, whoever um, makes his way into the center is like welcomed with a pretty much of hospitality, I would say. Yeah. So, when like the other day when I got to Brisbane. Nobody really notices you. Yeah. You're running around in your motorcycle gear, having the bike like fully loaded somewhere. People look at it as like, yeah, and g just go their way. Whereas if you turn up at a pub or at a server or something like in the in the more central areas, um, even in the more rural areas, it doesn't even have to be in the center. Yeah. But like as soon as you get a little bit more into the farmland, um, people will be more surprised to see you and um, yeah normally quite happy to see you even and interested cool. in what you're doing yeah. where you're coming from
Have you had any problems with the bike? Since you um, started this in trip? the very beginning, because the bike has been sitting in a shed for a year or two before I bought it, um, one of the O-rings of the carburetor was shrunk or something, so okay. it um, it pissed fuel. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> not so, good. Um, no, but um, yeah, just it was just a few days until we could manage to get a new O-ring in Alice Springs, and uh, after that, it's been fine so far. Oh, good. And what are your plans after this? That's a very good question. So um, by end of this week, I'll uh, head to the center again towards um, Inaminka and um, like go back out into the desert again. Um, well, after that, I'll probably stay on the eastern side of the Stewart Highway. And right. um, if there's enough time, I will find some work on a station. I would love to do that. Oh, yeah, that'll and, be good. Um, from there, I will... Uh, head north to my mate Brian's place in uh, near Cairns to uh, prepare my bike and leave my bike there when I'm going home for a month. That sounds really great. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope you have good travels. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Okay, heading off to prep for a trip to the Simpson. <laughs> wow. Not exactly, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somewhere in that direction. Uh, yeah, it could somewhere be in Aminka or somewhere like that. In the mink, it sounds like a good place to go, doesn't it? So, yeah. And she's rocking her new uh, tinted goggles, specially acquired. For the trip, yep. The dragon goggle. The cheapest one I could find, that's the only reason I bought them. And they all fit into my helmet. And the mods are complete on the Meerkat front tank bags. Yes. And the DR is heading off on. Yet another trip. Okay, there's a little container in there of. Um, <laughs> um, You're just amazing, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get some soup? <laughs> <laughs> I would really love to have some soup. Damn it, you should sit so early. <laughs> closing all the vents again and then do all the stuff again like riding further on. 